Hello and welcome to Samar Hamdani and I'm your friend and host Samar Hamdani. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Five, three? Or maybe you did not sleep at all last night. After all, it was weekend and it's only normal to spend weekend nights watching something or reading something or staying up chatting with friends, basically doing anything but sleeping. Why waste time sleeping when you can do so much, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but sleep is often seen as time wasted, lost forever. There are pro proverbs that form you being left behind while sleeping. In practically every language, there are idioms like caught napping or burning the midnight oil. So those who want to make something of themselves in life cut down on sleep. An average adult sleeps for 6.8 hours a night or maybe less. The national average in Japan is 5 hours and 59 minutes. Saudi Arabia, 6 hours, 8 minutes. Sweden, 6 hours, 10 minutes. India, 6 hours, 20 minutes. And in Pakistan, 6 hours, 38 minutes. Do you know these numbers can kill us? Science says an average adult needs to sleep at least 7 and a half hours every night. In these 7 and a half hours, a person completes 5 90 minute sleep cycles. During these cycles, your brain moves from deep non rapid eye movement sleep to rapid eye movement sleep. The first couple of cycles are dominated by non REM sleep. It cleanses and maintains our body, brain, and heart. The next set of cycles are needed for processing and learning all the information that we have gathered throughout the day. If you are having trouble recalling names, information or trivia, blame it on your sleep or lack of it. Seven and a half hours per night is recommended amount of sleep. America's Center for Disease Control is a little more practical. It says seven hours or more. This applies to all adults, burying just 3 to 5% of the population they can do with less than 6 hours of sleep, courtesy a rare gene mutation. Read this article for more. As for the recommended amount of sleep for other age groups, here is a chart. Now that we know how much we should sleep, the next question is when should we sleep? Can we complete a sleep quota in the mornings, afternoons and evenings too? Again, it's what science says, people are at their sleepiest at two points in the day between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. and between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. The best time to go to sleep is between 8 p.m. and midnight, early to bed, early to rise. Give a man his dose of vitamin D. What happens if you sleep after midnight? This study says late bedtimes are related to depressive symptoms. Some experts believe you sleep by 2 a.m. but complete your 7.5 hour of sleep, you are safe. Meaning, there is no risk of cardiovascular disease or diabetes as such. But there is a catch here. If you are sleeping late, you need to ensure uh, that your sleep is undisturbed. That really doesn't happen, does it? When the morning comes, doorbells, work calls, the noise of traffic sometimes, schools, college, even milkman in Pakistan, everything as a result of sleep is hampered. And we end up sleep deprived. Next question, what happens if you are not sleeping enough? There is a drop in health and productivity. Let's look at health first. Sleep deprivation is linked to physical health problems like cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, Studies have found that lack of sleep is also linked to breast cancer in women and prostate cancer in men. I'm not making this up. Researchers at Hong Kong University conducted a study. They found that a discernible DNA damage in those who sleep was disrupted even for one night. Can you imagine one night? Experts say this may help explain the link between the cancer and sleep deprivation. Let's look at mental health problems now. Lack of sleep is linked to anxiety and depression. South Korea and Japan rank the worst when it comes to a good night's sleep. It so, it so happens that South Korea and Japan also have the highest suicide rates in the world. Japan has the phenomenon uh, called Kiroshi, death caused by lack of sleep. Do you know we also put on weight if we don't sleep well? King's College London conducted a study in 2016 and found that sleep deprived people 
कंज्यूम एवरेज ऑफ थ्री एट हंड्रेड एंड फाइव किलो कैलरीज एक्स्ट्रा पर डे दैट्स एन एक्सेस ऑफ फोर एंड हाफ स्लाइसिस ऑफ ब्रेड एवरी डे study was carried out by researchers at the Pennsylvania State University this is as recent uh, as 2019 researchers said uh, uh, people in the 20s half of the volunteers got regular sleep the other half slept less than 5 hours each now the sleep deprived lot ended up feeling less full than the others after eating a high fat meal uh, leptin and ghrelin are two hormones explain the link between sleep deprivation and obesity leptin tells the brain that you are full ghrelin uh, urges you to eat more sleep deprived people have low levels of leptin and high levels of ghrelin sleep deprivation is also linked to the lack of productivity if you don't get enough sleep you're groggy at work it also hard to uh, concentrate you all know the drill we have all been there as a result people end up being less productive the united states loses the uh, equivalent of around 1.2 million working days per year because people are not getting enough sleep in japan around 600000 working days are lost in the uk and germany the number becomes 200000 this loss affects your country gdp these numbers are according to uh, the rank corporation but something that pakistan should also looking at closely because you know why because in pakistan uh, back late from work and sleeping less is regarding as professionalism so what's the moral of the story sleep deprivation is helping no one except the market brands are capitalizing on a lack of sleep on our habit still around 1880 people were sleeping an average of 10 hours a night obviously because the uh, android phone was not there <laughs> thomas edison then invented the light bulb 141 years later we also have phones laptops and tablets most of us are scrolling through them before going to bed these devices emit blue light which boosts the production of cortisol in our body and makes it difficult for us to uh, sleep now brands are promising sleep they come bottled in the form of lotion candles uh, sleep comes in paid apps that uh, that play actually sleep inducing sounds do you know falling asleep around 10 to 15 minutes but if you manage to doze off within a few minutes uh, it means that you are sleep deprived sleep today has become a product in fact a luxury product The sleep tech device market is worth over 10.9 billion dollars. Can you imagine? And 48.5 percent of this is held by the insomnia uh, segment. The market is expected to grow 16.6 percent by 2026. This market is being fueled by our sleeping patterns and our habits. 50 percent more women use sleep tracker. Uh, regularly compared to men and more and more people start their day by checking their fitness bands and answering this question did you sleep well have you been sleeping well have you been sleeping enough who are we giving excuses to our web series can be paused late night conversations can happens in the morning to work career and dreams can take some rest because you know what if you don't sleep how will we dream and when we not dream so how we will get our destiny uh, take care of yourself and take a good sleep this is samaram da